All right, guys, uh, welcome to my first ever commentary. And, uh, yep, this is going to be as cringy as you think it is. So, yeah, boy, you better strap yourself in because we're about to all go to Satan's headquarters. And it's already getting down the drain. Let's try and not imitate any other commentary channels. Uh, <clears throat> Pyro Cynical, Leafy is here, The Greatness TV. Uh, kill me. Today, uh, it's going to be the first one, but it's going to be a little light. Uh, I was going to do... <laughs> Uh, Thomas the Tank Engine joke parody one as my first commentary. It was actually going to have like comedy in it, but like and memes and stuff like that. You know, all all the cringe fest of 2017. You know, but you know what? Since Thanksgiving is today, just it's just a happy time to be around your family and just be thankful for what you got. I thought I would just like share what I'm thankful for and hopefully get a discussion going into what all of you guys who are watching, if you are watching. Uh, what you are thankful for in life. Thanksgiving, as you know, 2017. And uh, I just want to say that I'm honestly very thankful for everything I have. Like, not just, like, YouTube, but in my life. Like, I have great friends, I have great family, you know. I have the opportunity to get college done early. And, you know, it's always good, you know. I have a blast in life, and, you know. And YouTube just adds on to that. Like, I'm pretty sure we're going to hit 200 subs by the end of the year, which is just amazing to me. Like, this is this is honestly going to be very cliche. Like, uh, <laughs> well, let me just tell you. So I started my channel off, you know, I've been watching YouTube for like a couple years. You know, I just thought, well, I wonder what it's like. I wonder what it's like playing, like, playing the YouTube game, you know. And so I created my first channel, and, uh, I'm gonna admit something here. Uh, the name Graham Cracker. Uh, I originally did not like that name. Like when I moved to where I live now, uh, I was in the second grade, and everyone called me Graham Cracker, and I hated it. I absolutely despised the name. Like I thought everyone was like making fun of me, and like which they were at the time, but you know, because I was the new kid, you know, new kid, shy, you know like, easy to make fun of, stuff like that, plus my name, the way you spell it, is different than the normal way, so, you know, it was, like, easy pickings there, it's like, trying to catch, it's like catching a minnow when you're trying to ca catch a tuna, you know, that's a, that's a terrible analogy, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's basically it, but, uh, over the years, you know, I despised the name, but I got used to it around the fifth grade, and I started accepting it, like, you know, I made it a part of me, you know, I just accepted it and went along with it anytime. No one really called me Graham Cracker at that point anymore, like, it kind of blew over. And then whenever I created my YouTube channel uh, about two years ago now, I created it in 2016, yeah, it's almost 2018, it's almost two years ago. Uh, by February 16th, I think that's the day, that's the day I created the YouTube channel. That's that will be the two year anniversary. Hopefully I'll get a video out this time because I forgot to do the one year anniversary. But uh I barely had any subscribers. I had like twenty three subscribers one year after I made the channel. Like it was very slow. But yeah, uh I understand how I got all these subscribers. It's all because of one video that jump started, which I'm gonna be honest, I only uploaded that video because of the glitch. Like I wasn't in the greatest mood. Like, I've, made, I've commented and pinned it there, trying to explain, like, the best I could without making a video, but, uh, which I wasn't going to, so that's why I made the comment. But, yeah, uh, in that video, uh, the young, I was not in the greatest mood, and it kind of made me seem like I was, like, this mean person, or kind of like this cranky person all the time, which I'm not. If you were to meet me in everyday life, you would, uh, you'd probably cringe just seeing my face, honestly. But, uh, yeah, if you would just get around me and my friends, and if you were, like, had, like, the right attitude with you at the time, you'd probably have a blast. Because, like, all I know, we just had the live stream thing, that was probably one of the greatest nights I've had in a long time. You know, school started, and... You know, these nights, they just get bland because, you know, you're doing homework and you're just going through the same routine, waking up early in the morning, going to bed late at night, you know, doing homework, you know, getting through boring classes and stuff, which uh, I I don't despise, 
uh, this year. I don't despise school, but I'm just not the biggest fan. But I, then again, who is? But yeah, I guess I need to be thankful for what I even have in school because I'm at the rate I'm going, I'm probably going to like graduate with half of my college done at this point. And that's honestly amazing to me because when I was little, I thought I was going to have to spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars, which was a, it, it, college is expensive, but it, it, I found out it's not as expensive as, as I thought it was. I'm stuttering a lot, but like, yeah, just, I, I thought differently, but again, everyone does, but yeah, back to the original story, uh, the name Graham Cracker, I basically accepted it in the 8th grade, and I made the channel, and I kind of turned it into that. And then the way I blew up, uh, it was that one glitch video, and I honestly didn't want that video to be the one to blow up. Like, I wanted another video, like, that video I made, it wasn't even edited, that was right before I got my new editing software, and it was just 10 minutes of raw footage, and just... I honestly thought it was quite boring, and I was honestly thinking about taking it down and redoing it with a better attitude. But then it started blowing up, and I was like, oh. Well, again, who wants to delete their most popular video? But like, I was honestly debating taking it down. And like, yeah, I honestly had that in my head. But you know what? I thought I would just clear things up in a comment. This is probably not the best choice I would have taken. Like, I probably should just take the video down, in my opinion, but I didn't. I'm just going to leave it up there and hope that people don't get the wrong idea. But yeah, uh, I just have to say that I'm honestly very thankful for everything. Like, I've gotten so many subscribers, and I've gotten more confident in the YouTube game. Like, I'm not, I'm still not very confident just making, like, this video right here, like, just flat out talking with just like no filter like no script like I'm just blatantly talking to you guys and my mouth is just like you know is all watering up because like you know I haven't like stopped to breathe every once in a while and you know it, it just gets like that but uh, where is this conversation going but yeah um, Thanksgiving's around you know it's a time for family I love my family to death even though uh, we don't always get along, but now that I'm older, <clears throat> sorry, now that I'm older, I understand a lot more, and I honestly have a blast when I'm around them, and it's it's just one of life's moment, moments, mo moments, whatever, it's just one of life's moments that you can never take for granted, like, Let's just say, if you're, like, a teenager like me right now, and you only have a few years left before you go to college, and, you know, you're, you're living with your parents, and, you know, because you have to, you're still a minor, and you're not 18 yet, but if you ever get mad at your parents or your family for something, just know that it'll blow over, like, uh, trust me, I've, we've all been through this, any of you who have been my age or older... You know we've all been through this. You get angry at your parents. You you're like mad. You like are contemplating, thinking that bad stuff in your head. You're like you're just so angry, but then it just blows over. Like it just blows over, and you realize that you just let it go. You love your family, and you have to realize that you're not gonna get everything that you want, which. Uh, I realized that uh, years ago, and I still have trouble agreeing and not, like, getting mad at my parents, but, you know, like, it's just, everyone goes through it, and e everyone does, and honestly, it's one of life's moments, it's a, it's a lesson moment, it's a teaching moment, and you learn from your mistakes, you learn that no matter how angry you are, you're gonna love your family no matter what. And that you you have them forever, but that if you're my age or if you're above my age, you know that you only have a certain few years with them uh, before you move on to your own life. So I've for the last year or two, I've just been you know hanging out, you know, relating with my family. Because I realize I don't have that much more time with them. Like, if I was 10 years old, I probably wouldn't be hanging out with my mom or my dad that much. 
Like, I would probably just be in my room playing my 3DS on Pokemon Black and White. Yes, I was that one kid who played Pokemon nonstop. My Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire save, save file has over 500 hours on it. And I have all of the legendaries and all of the games on there, all Mega Evolutions. And the only thing I haven't done is completed the Pokedex. But that's because I was a 10-year-old kid. I was a 10-year-old white kid at one point. But, yeah, I'm older now, and I don't, re I don't realize everything in the world yet, but I do for sure realize a whole lot more than I did. And I've still got a long way to go. So do a lot of us. I mean, even when you're all grown up, you do realize that you have a long way to go. But, honestly, just don't take anything for granted. Just be thankful for what you have, and just be glad that you have a loving family and a good life. Like, there's people with depression and, you know, anxiety out there, and they all, they get all worked up, which I've actually had that anxiety problem before. Like, you know, it's basically you just worry and just worry, and you get all scared of what will happen. And, you know, it, it just overwhelms you. But you know what? what you realize that you're not alone in the world and that you can get around the problem like you don't just have to hide in a corner and you know just feel like you can't do anything there's always something you can do like for instance I used to get bullied again back when I first moved to where I live I was shy I got made fun of I got bullied and I honestly hated it. I didn't want to go to school, and, like, I didn't want to ride the bus because that's where some of it happened. Because, like, I had to sit with this, with this one kid, and, you know, he was just a flat-out bully. He, he despised me, and he would make me feel terrible. But you know what? Uh, I was just sitting in my room one day, and my dad came up, and, and he asked me what was wrong. I was hesitant, but I told him that I was being bullied. And you know what? We sat there for an hour straight, and that was honestly the talk I had with him about bullies and, like, being shy or, like, you know, just living up, living up, you know, I, I don't know the words. Basically just standing up for yourself and not being afraid. It's honestly one of the best conversations I've had in my life. But, yeah, uh, just... Moral of the story, just be thankful for what you got, don't be afraid, and just love your life, don't take it for granted. Thank you for watching, I'll see you all later.